different types of esters attached to different types of steroidal muscle building compounds, guys. For instance, testosterone propionate versus testosterone cypionate. There's also other types of steroids like norangelone decanate or trenbolone acetate. I know you guys have heard a lot of these different compounds that have a name attached to the end of it. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what that means, okay? Whenever you attach an ester to a compound, it basically determines the speed at which it stays in your body or leaves your body, right? A cypionate, that's going to be in your body a lot longer, for instance, than like an acetate or a propionate. That is going to also affect different side effects in your body. It's going to affect the amount of estrogen buildup, DHT. Think about it like this. If you take a really thin candle, you light that candle, it's going to burn down a lot faster than it would if you have a very wide candle with a small wick, right? It's going to take a longer time for that stuff to get out of your system. It also is going to be able to build up, okay? It's almost like if you look at it like you're in a toll booth and if you've got a smaller lane, right, you start to build up people in the back. That's that stuff building up in your system versus a toll booth that you've got a bunch of different toll booths and a bunch of cars are moving all at once, okay? It builds up in your system more effectively. So depending on what you're trying to get done, a lot of times you want to use a slower acting ester or a fasting acting ester. There are going to be different types of things that are going to be affected when taking these compounds. It's all the same stuff, but the time that's in your body and the time that leaves your body are different when you attach different esters to it.